Hello, in this video, I want to show you a book that is really, really good for people who want to learn chemistry. It is called Everything You Need to Ace Chemistry in One Big Fat Notebook, The Complete High School Study Guide. This book is awesome. There are other books that are part of like this series. Um, I have several of the books and they're all awesome. This one is on chemistry. So if you are taking a chemistry class and you're struggling, this is like one of, if not probably the best choice uh, for you. If you're trying to learn chemistry with no knowledge, uh, with very little knowledge, this might be a good option. Let's take a look at the contents. The Complete High School Study Guide, Everything You Need to Ace Chemistry in One Big Fat Notebook, Workman Publishing, New York. The book smells amazing. I'm sorry, I just gotta give it a whiff. It smells so good. Oh, it's got a, just a really nice new smell. Everything you need to ace chemistry. Hi, welcome to chemistry. This notebook is designed to support you as you work through chemistry. Consider this book to be a compilation of notes taken by the smartest person in your chemistry class. The one who seems to get everything and takes clear, understandable, accurate notes. Cool. Talks about the book, how to read it. Here's the contents. Unit one, basics of chemistry. Introduction to chemistry, conducting experiments. Lab reports and evaluating results. Measurement, lab safety and scientific tools. Cool, it's got some cool artwork. The artwork in this book is very, very good. Um, it's this just really well done, it, really, really good work. Unit two, all about matter, properties of matter and changes in form, states of matter, atomic theory and electron configuration. Wow, yeah, tons of stuff. Bonding, wow, look at that. Interesting stuff. And so you see it actually has chemistry. Um, you know, you learn like a lot of science uh, and actual chemistry with a book like this. Chemical compounds, chemical reactions and calculations, gases, solutions and solubility, acids and bases, chemical compounds, thermodynamics, and then there's an index. So let's look at the structure of the book because I think that's important to show you what that's like. So here's how it starts. What is chemistry? Chemistry is the branch of science that studies matter, what it is and how it changes. Matter, anything that occupies the space and has mass. And see how everything is just really nicely laid out with boxes and you know everything's, there's nice colors to separate the ideas. There's good use of spacing and imagery. Um, the pages aren't cluttered. Uh, it's just really well done. Talks about the types of chemistry. Nice overview of the subject. They, they, have a, uh, they have a book like this on computer science, which is also really, really good. If I remember, I'll leave a link uh, to that in the description, as well as this, in case you want to check it out. Um, I bought my copy new. Um, fantastic book. So check your knowledge. So here you have some things. What is chemistry? You know, how do organic compounds differ from inorganic compounds? So it just it has questions, and then you turn the page, look, answers. And I love how it's right there. Check your answers, boom. Just really nicely laid out, just great book. And then you go to the next chapter. Same thing, right? So you read through it. Let's see if we can find it. Check your knowledge, All right? So you have some questions, then answers. Then the next chapter. So it's just nice little bite-sized chapters. You know, they're good size. Um, even if they're long, there's not like, there's reading, but it's not like overwhelming. There's pictures. Everything is like to the point and clear. I don't know, just really, really well done. Gonna give another whiff here. Ah, oh, smells so good. I love the way books smell. Yeah. Anyways, this is a great book uh, for anyone who wants to learn chemistry, right? If you're thinking about learning chemistry and either you're in a class or maybe um, you're just thinking about doing it for self-study, this is a pretty good choice. You can also get um, chemistry textbooks, like actual textbooks. You can get used ones. But this has a unique style. Look at this, electrons. It's just easy to pick up and read. By the way, it's, 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 I don't know if it's a hard or a soft cover. I feel like it's a soft cover. It's a soft cover, but like it's a different material. I don't know what the material is. Energy levels. The first scientist to come up with a plan on the structure of the atom was Niels Bohr. Cool. 
Bohr wanted to know where the electrons were located in the atom. He proposed the idea that electrons zoomed around the nucleus like the planets zoom around the sun in an orbit. Orbit, the curved path that an object takes around another object. So like, you know, it, it really like explains things. Bohr called these or orbits energy levels. And here he talks a little bit more about it. It's just really cool, right? Really, really, I wanna keep reading, but I won't. I won't, I will stop myself. Uh, it's an interesting book, right? It's a very, very interesting book. So what's this? Call me Stanek. Call me Stanek. Hmm. Check your knowledge. And then you turn the page, then you've got the answers. Oh, the mole. Look at this. The SI base unit used to measure the amount of a substance. The number of carbon atoms is exactly 12,000 grams of the carbon-12 isotope. Why carbon-12? <laughs> Yeah, anyways, awesome book. I will end this video. Um, until next time, good luck and take care.